guys, Brianna here from Audacious Cosmetics. I just got back from an event. I opened a booth for Vivid Angun's makeup seminar. And her model did not turn up today, so I became her last minute face model. I look extra gorgeous, right? <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, today I'm not talking about anything related to makeup. Um, I'm not even doing a makeup video. But um, I have friends who have been asking me how I tie my turban. So I thought probably I can share with you how I tie my turban in about 5 to 10 minutes. Um, I usually do not put on a turban um, as a casual wear or on a daily basis. But I usually have a turban on when I have makeup jobs or if I have corporate events to attend to. Okay, so what do we need for this turban style? Um, first of all, you actually need a pashmina shawl or a cotton material shawl. Um, my suggestion is for you to have those thin ones instead of the thick ones because it can be a little warm. And don't worry about these fringes that they have because I'm going to show you how to actually hide them. Um, Besides that, you need pins. These pins are quite thick. Uh, you can also use the thin one, doesn't matter. But I usually have the thick one, so you know it really helps to secure the whole look. Uh, besides that, you also need an inner or a ninja. It holds the turban nicely so that it doesn't slip backwards. And it's partly um, because if it slips backwards, you can actually see the hairline showing and it's going to be really, really ugly. You know, you're going to be very messed up. And I understand that there are some girls who actually have um, a lot of baby hair. So, yeah, to prevent that, we must have an inner or a ninja. Okay, besides that, we need this furry friend here. Um, it actually helps hold the turban and it's quite strong to hold the layers of the turban. I got these for about $12, $15 I think. I bought it at Persian in Geylang. But since the Ramadan Bazaar is open, um, I think there are those who are selling about $10 to $12. Mm, for those ladies who have short hair, however, um, you can get those with the clips, you know, the ones that, um, you know, clips your hair. Um, it's quite tight, but if you're okay with that, then yeah, get those. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Now, let's start the turban tutorial. Okay, so I've already have my inner on. I also have my furry friend inside my inner. I'm just gonna hide it. Okay. Just gonna cover up just in case it's seen. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is to align the um, pashmina above the eyebrow. But always have your inner slightly near to your hairline. Why I say this because we don't want the um, inner to be visible on the turban. So I usually pull the inner up. But pull down the um, the shawl. Okay, so here is the best um, placement. Okay, so now that you have it placed, I push everything towards the back. Then you can actually see that it covers slightly um, on the eyebrow. It doesn't matter because I'm telling you it's going to move outwards. Okay, so now that we have it placed... Okay, what we're going to do is um, we're going to tie a knot. So hold the, the uh, material like this, cross over, and then tie a knot. Okay, make sure everything is um, pulled out. Okay, so make sure that the sides are covered. Okay, and then have this pulled. You don't have to tie it too tight, but ensure it's tight enough that the turban don't fall off. So what I do here is, you know, there's extra material here. So you just push it in towards the knot and it's already tight enough. Okay, so you have like two ponytails. <laughs> okay, 
So what's next is I'm going to create a rectangle shape. Um, yeah, rectangle shape on this on this side. Okay. Fold it twice. Okay, so that uh, it gives you volume. Okay, so from here, we want to be covering this emptiness here between the furry friend and the head. So with this, you actually have to cross over and place it right in between. Can you see? This layer is actually covering the emptiness. Okay, so bring this forward. Bring this forward and use the other side to cross over to the right. Okay, so do the same. Okay, make sure that it's flat like this and then hold it like that and then you cross over. So hold this one and then you cross over. This can be slightly, um, slightly above the first layer so that it actually gives you volume as you can see okay now so what do i do oh i look like i have two years <laughs> no two long years that's right i already have two years anyway <laughs> okay so what i do is um i will be tying a second knot okay here cross again tie knot but don't tie this too tight because you're gonna have a migraine or a slight headache okay just make sure that it's secure enough okay so what i do is this balance here right as you can see there's all this fringe coming out what i do is i actually hide them underneath the folds okay so do the same Use this, find all this fringe, okay, find all this fringe, and then hide it under the folds. This is what I do. Okay, so hide it under the folds. And then with the folds that is right above your head, Pull this material here, pull this top layer and then cover the fringe so that when you when you cover this right, actually the fringe goes inside the fold. So use your pin and pin it. You see, the fringe is gone. Okay, so you do the same for the other side. Pull towards the front and then hide the fringe in. So just hide the fringe in the folds. Okay, do the same thing. Take a little bit of material. Pull it forward towards the front. You see? And let it hold the fringe inside. And then use your pin and secure it. There you go. Alright. So there is my turban. Yeah. Okay, so now this you can pull up a little bit. So that it creates a little... Um, shape. Uh, okay, there you go. And that's my turban simple right this is really 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 easy so um, if you do not like buying instant turbans you can do this with your pashmina I have lots of pashmina so I actually just change my turban colors that's all about I do the same thing over and over again okay so this is the final look okay I hope you guys like it. It's really comfortable. It's really easy to do. And it actually, you know, matches almost everything that you wear. 
Um, you can actually have a plain shawl or a printed one. Uh, but I don't usually use a printed one unless it's a dark colour. You can accessorize it as well, but um, putting on turbans are actually already creating attention. So to accessorize it creates unnecessary attention, which I do not feel comfortable with. So what you can do is you can accessorize yourself today. I hope that you guys will like or comment um, this video and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much guys for watching. Bye!